Today, we will learn about the Earth, the Sun, and why there are different seasons. Next year, I will be going to high school. I'm really excited. But before I start, I get to go on summer vacation with my family. Summer is my favorite part of the year. But I wondered, why does it start getting cooler around the month of September? Why can't it be summer all year long? That's the big question we will explore today. Why do the seasons change throughout the year? Before we get started, what do you think? Why do you think the seasons change throughout the year? To understand the seasons, we have to understand how the Earth moves around the sun. There are two terms to remember, revolution and tilt. Revolution is how over the course of 365 days or one year, the Earth completes one full trip around the sun. This movement is also called Earth's orbit around the sun. The second fact we must think about is the Earth's tilt. Instead of moving upright, the Earth is slightly tilted at a 23.4 degree angle. As the Earth rotates, it is always tilted at the exact same angle of 23.4 degrees. The revolution and tilt of the Earth work together to create the seasons. The Earth's tilt means that sunlight doesn't hit everywhere equally. Instead, one hemisphere receives direct sunlight, while the other receives indirect sunlight. Right now, which hemisphere do you think has warmer weather? The northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere? Because the northern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun, the sunlight hits this part of the earth directly. This means that this half of the earth will have higher temperatures and will experience the summer season. At the same time, the southern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun so it only gets indirect sunlight. What type of temperatures would you predict the Southern Hemisphere is experiencing when it receives indirect sunlight? This angle of sunlight won't warm up the Earth's surface as much as direct sunlight, so this half of the planet will be colder and will experience the winter season. Now over the next six months, the Earth will revolve to the other side of the sun. Even though the Earth has moved, its tilt has stayed the same. This means the Southern Hemisphere is now tilting towards the Sun, and the Northern Hemisphere is tilting away. What do you think the seasons are going to be like now? Because the Southern Hemisphere is tilting towards the Sun, it will receive more direct sunlight, have higher temperatures, and experience the summer season. In contrast, the Northern Hemisphere is now tilting away from the Sun, meaning it will only receive indirect sunlight, have lower temperatures, and experience the winter season. Of course, winter and summer aren't the only seasons on Earth. We also experience spring and fall. As the Earth keeps revolving around the Sun, it will reach a point here where the tilt doesn't cause the northern or the southern hemisphere to tilt towards the sun. The northern hemisphere has now left winter and will experience spring. The southern hemisphere just left summer, so it will experience fall. Now, based on what you've learned, where will the earth be when the northern hemisphere is experiencing fall? At this point, the northern hemisphere will be tilted towards the sun and experiencing summer. As the Earth keeps revolving, it will end up here, where the tilt doesn't cause either hemisphere to tilt towards the Sun. At this point, the Northern Hemisphere will be experiencing fall. In conclusion, the seasons are caused by the revolution and tilt of the Earth. As the Earth revolves around the Sun, the angle of sunlight continuously changes throughout the year, 
depending on which hemisphere is leaning towards or away from the sun. This difference in angle leads to different temperatures on each hemisphere and the different seasons we experience on Earth. That's all for now. Stay tuned for next time.